Hi there. Hope you're okay. This is uh, a quick video in the series that Rich has started on um, sharing your faith with people, telling others about Jesus. Um, and this is just the approach we use in Saturday conversations. So it's a very abridged version, but hopefully you might find it useful in sharing your faith with friends, with neighbours, uh, with family even, or with strangers. Um, because at the moment in this sunny weather, everybody wants to get out. And as we're in lockdown and we're observing social spacing, a lot of people, or social distancing, a lot of people are um, a bit lonely. <laughs> Haven't been able to speak to somebody face to face for a while. So you may find yourself in conversation with people, even as you're just wandering around the pier or along the seafront, even from a distance of two metres. Um, and the approach that we use is, is just this. If you think that it's uh, time to try and introduce the gospel into a relationship with somebody or a conversation that you're having, then this is one way that you can go about that. And it's just by simply asking the other person uh, what they believe in. You know, and with all that's going on in the world today, um, you know, what do they make of things? What is it that they believe in? Do they think there's a God? Um, or do they have a faith or a philosophy? And just ask them to share that with you. And regardless of what they say, you know, whether people say, oh, I don't believe in anything, or whether people say, oh, yes, I'm a, a Wiccan priest or whatever, um, just express an interest in that to find out about them and what their position is, you know. Um, so if you don't believe in anything, what do you think happens to us after we die? Or if you're a Wiccan priest, you know, how are you managing with the lockdown then? Do you normally meet together? How, what, what do you do? And when you think you've sufficiently understood their position, then that's the time to just bring in this simple question and to say, so what do you think of sin? Do you think it exists? Um, and if you do, how would you define it? What does it mean to you? And just listen honestly to their answer and, and try to sort of feed back to them what they've said so that you've understood it. So, for instance, you might say, oh, so you're, you're saying that sin is just doing something that hurts other people. That's what you believe. Because the next thing you're going to say is, have you ever heard of the Ten Commandments? And I have to tell you that it's very rare to meet anybody who hasn't. Regardless of the depth of knowledge of the Bible or anything else, nearly everybody's heard of the Ten Commandments. Some people can even remember some. You know, you can say, can you think of any? Um, and the next question is very simply, do you think you've ever broken any of them? Again, it's very rare to meet somebody who thinks they've never broken a commandment. And if they do, remind them of the first commandment to um, love the Lord <laughs> God. To the exclusion of all others, you know, um, to love him with all our heart, soul, strength and mind. Um, I don't think anybody's going to claim that they've spent all of their time loving God their whole life. So once people acknowledge that, yeah, they've broken a commandment, that's where you have the opportunity to say that this is what the Bible defines as sin, breaking one of God's commandments. Um, and it says that if you break one of his commandments, then you're separated from him forever. So the bad news is we're all destined to eternal separation from God because we've all broken one of his commandments. We've all sinned. So we're all sinners. But that's where you get them to introduce the gospel. Because you say, but the good news is that's why he sent Jesus. Jesus came to the earth. He lived his life. He never sinned. He never did anything wrong even though he was tempted just like any of us are. But God allowed him to die on a cross. Jesus willingly was killed on a cross so that he could take the punishment for our sin, so that he could be the one that brings us back to God, so that if we are sorry for the things we've done wrong, and if we believe in Jesus, we can be forgiven and we can have eternal life, uh, so that we can know that we will be in heaven with God when we die. And that's the gospel. That's the good news. Uh, and if you get to share that with somebody, you can say, so what do you think of that? <laughs> How do you respond to that? And that might be another interesting conversation with other opportunities to share your faith. Or you may simply ask them, you know, if you want to hear more about that, 
why not tune into our live stream service and let them know how they can do that. Or perhaps one day in the future, invite them along to a service. Anyway, I hope that's helpful. Um, whatever approach you use, just tell people about Jesus, even if you simply share your own story, your own testimony. Okay, thanks and have a great day. Bye.